All right, so here we are at G3 in the exhibit hall, and we ran into the guys from SolarCast. Uh, great podcast. I grabbed them. I, I Well, okay, it was a little bit more than grab them. I think I was trying to choke one of them into an interview. They, these guys have been mobbed all day. But, uh, you know, so we, we'll grab them for a bit, talk about, uh, first off, you guys have been able to attend some of the sessions. I'm going to, uh, one by one, I'll start with you, Pastor Chris. What session did you enjoy the most? And then after that, I want to find out, you know, outside of the sessions, what have you enjoyed the most here at G3? Right. Yeah, I think uh, Joel Beakey really touched me being a father of little ones, you know, just kind of encouraging us as fathers to uh, commit to family worship. That was just something that was really impactful for me. And then just recently hearing Acosti, I'm glad I heard, got to hear him because, you know, I come from the charismatic movement. So he had a lot of, he hit on a lot of things that I'm really familiar with. So it was awesome. I can't wait to share that one. Uh, other than that, man, just the fellowships, man, getting to meet guys like you again and seeing you and, uh, you know, everybody else here. That's what we talked about yesterday on the podcast. Uh, one, the best thing about G3, man, is just reuniting with people every year, uh, getting to see them. We see, we hear about each other. We see what each other says on Twitter all year, but then we get to meet them face to face. That's awesome, man. Yeah. So uh, for me, it was Steve Lawson taking us up uh, the Romans mountain. So he took us on a trip. He took us all the way, chapter 11, all the way up to the top of the mountain so that we could see and why we give glory to God. Uh, it was really good. I, and I told Pastor Chris afterwards, I was, man, I just wanted him to go right into Romans 12, 1 and tell us, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies a living sacrifice. I thought uh, what Steve Lawson did in that was something I have not seen before. And he took us all the way through Romans. I thought it was, I thought it was the kind of the pinnacle uh, so far. But I enjoyed a lot of the speakers that were that were speaking here. It was it was really good. Um, besides that, and you just got to love that you get to meet all these people here. There's Eddie Roman right there. I stole some stuff from Eddie Roman so I can go evangelize. Uh, the riddle, <laughs> I stole from him. I, I took the riddle that, that he uses, and we use it in evangelism. Uh, so it's just good to meet these guys, shake their hands, and, and just talk to them. I, I got to have a really good conversation with Daryl Harrison yesterday, which was really good. So that's what I liked. Go ahead. All right. So uh, let's let's talk about SolarCast. So uh, you you guys on SolarCast, you guys try to avoid all the controversial, difficult issues, correct? Uh, you know, I try to. But he pushes me that way, you know. So then, you know, we get stuck talking about you know Beth Moore for two hours. So yeah, it's it's yeah. pretty tough. How, how about uh, your your last episode? You you figured ah, you know, Christians, guns. We shouldn't talk about that, right? No, let's talk about Christians and guns. I think uh, what, what happened in Texas just recently shows uh, that God is for protecting his people. And he'll use instruments uh, as, that, as that, that man that was there that, that took down that shooter, right? He, God will use an instrument like that to take down a shooter and protect his people. And I think that was the, the crux of what we were trying to say. People that want to try, try to take our guns away from us are... I think they're in error. I think there's a, there's a problem there. You have the right. You can do that. And so that was my point. Now, I, I am noticing something just as I, as I look at you guys. Let's see. Um, all right. Now, now you're, you're a pastor of a church, and that's, oh, oh look, he's repping the church. He's repping the podcast. You're, you're repping Nike. And okay, just so. Story, though. I, I, I had bought a T-shirt here, and I was going to wear it today. And I lost it. Yeah, I don't know where it is. So I had to, I had to throw on the Nike shirt. Yeah. Was that one of the Christian Podcast Community T-shirts? Oh wait, no, we didn't, we didn't start selling them yet. That's right. Okay, okay. So, <laughs> all right. So, uh, well, you know, there's, there's these great T-shirts from Justin Peters Ministries. If we look here, Justin Peters, and if you read it, it says, if you want to hear God speak to you, read your Bible. If you want to hear God speak aloud, read it aloud. Great, great quote from uh, Justin Peters. And so uh, let's, let's talk about your, your church that you guys have there in Texas. So you're the, you're the pastor of the church, Chris. And so why do you guys start the church? What are you guys doing? What's, what's different about your church from other churches in your area? Yeah, we're, we're right in the inner city uh, in an area infested by drugs, gangs, and you name it, areas that we grew up in. So, uh, you know, in, in inner cities, in an inner city community like that, uh, it's hard to find churches that are that are sound in the theology and that hold doctrine very high. Uh, you, typically, you get a lot of Pentecostal churches. You get a lot of, uh, you know, traditional Southern Baptist churches or seeker-friendly stuff. So we wanted to plant a church in uh, communities that we grew up in that we saw a lack of. So that's why we went right in there and we did it. And, you know, we're just, one, what's different about us is we evangelize, man. We hit the streets. A lot of people don't do that. So uh, you'll catch us at least once a month, you know, on the streets. You know. Yeah, now, Jimmy and I, you and I met doing some evangelism, so uh, I know you have a heart for evangelism. So uh, let's talk about your evangelism, why you love it. What, what's the, what's the, 
motivation for evangelism? God has put it in my heart that I want to see other people saved, come to know Christ. I, I, for me, it's always been a, a proclamation of Jesus Christ. Since the day I, I was I was saved, I wanted other people to know. Uh, I think early on I did it wrong. I think early on I, I pointed the finger at people. You're going to hell, you know that kind of thing. Uh, but uh, I come to I come to actually was the way the master that that I stumbled upon and, and I learned from them. And so I've, uh, I owe Living Waters a lot when it comes to the evangelism. Uh, but yeah, I want to get out there in the streets and just talk to people and have conversations with people so that they might come to know uh, the true Christ. I use the law and the gospel in my evangelism so that people will know their need for a savior. Uh, we have to point out the sins. We actually ran into the ministry that was out there the other day. Uh, they, they had their guitars out there singing songs and they're saying, we, we don't want to tell you you're going to hell. That's between you and God. And we're, we're standing right there and saying, hey, you know what, guys? You're, you're going to hell if you don't repent and put your trust in Jesus Christ. This was the difference. And I think uh, we want to get the truth out there. That's, that's the thing. There's so much false doctrine that is being preached even from street preachers that think they're doing the right thing we you know i can see the zeal that they have i can see that you know they're, they're wanting to do something but if you don't bring the correct theology to it uh and that's my thing the evangelism has a lot to do with bringing the truth to the to the masses and uh, you gotta you gotta go out to do that you can't stay in the church in the church walls to do that you gotta hit the streets okay who who loves these people more you or guitar guy i uh, <laughs> I, can't, I can't judge a guitar guy, but that's one of the things I tell people on the streets. Uh, I, I, you know, when I run into Christians on the streets and I interview them for a little bit and find out that they're actually Christians, I, you know, it, it seems. Like, do you share your faith? Is what I ask, and then I'll say, look up and down this bridge. Right? Jesus said that um, broad is the way that leads to destruction, and there are many that go thereby. Narrow is the way that leads to life, and there are a few who find it. So most of these people are going to hell, and if you cared about them, you'd be sharing your faith with them. And so that's that's my thing. I care about people. I love people. I want I want them to come to know Christ. Yeah, the most loving thing we could do is tell them they're going to hell, because that's what they need to know. So, Chris, we'll start with you uh, to wrap it up. Share with folks how they can get a hold of you, how they can get a hold of the church. Yeah, well, the church you can find us on the website is www.ecclesiachurch.org, and then uh, Solacast you can find us at uh, Solacast www.solacast.com or thesolacast.com. Also on Twitter is probably the best way, uh, most accessible at Sola underscore Cast. Me personally at C Hernandez two one four. You know, you notice this, you ask a pastor to do one thing, and he's just got to—he's got to do everything. Because yeah. Jimmy, I was going to ask you to tell us how we get a hold of Solacast, <laughs> and uh, you know, he, he just says, "Let me, let me, I'll, I'll just take it all." I'll, I'll. <laughs> so, so yeah. So, so how could people get a hold of you, Jimmy? At Los Jimmy, that's probably the best way. Just uh, at Los Jimmy. I, I got a Facebook page, but that's mostly, you know. No, you know what? Facebook also, I share nothing but verses and you know things that I, uh, things I observe about the Bible and things like that. But. Uh, Twitter, I think, is a place where you more communicate, and that's the only place that I'm at. Those two places, Facebook and Twitter. Atlas Jimmy, Atlas Jimmy's the handle. So, all right. So check out Sola Cast because it actually is a good podcast. Thanks, guys. <laughs>